He's the man with two first names, not Devo Brown. Oh. Elton John. I, was like, I really thought she was talking about you for a Thank second. Thank you. I actually had it together really this time. That. I do I go by Brown together. Devo sometimes, so I was like, you <laughs> could. Okay, no, let's talk Elton about John Sir D. Elton John. Yeah, Sir Elton John receiving the Icon Award at the iHeartRadio Music Awards uh, last night. He's only the second honoree in this, uh, this award. Bon Jovi, John Bon Jovi getting that last year. So, very cool. He was, uh, he was of course, uh, presented this award by Chris Martin, who started off kind of satirically clowning on him. He just kind of made fun of him. He's like, I uh, heard about this guy, John Elton, because like, they're good buddies, so he made fun of him. Lil Nas X also presenting this award to Elton John. In his speech, Lil Nas X saying, you know, Elton John was someone who paved the way for people to live their lives freely and unapologetically. He inspired so many other people just by being himself, being larger than life, flashy and fearless, and said, even if you weren't intending to be a role model, you definitely are one. Elton John uh, getting this Icon Award at the Brit Awards as well. So other awards he's gotten, five Grammys, two Oscars, two Golden Globes, and a Tony, mm, amongst others. No big deal, oh, right? Oh, oh. When you do all that, that's why you get an Icon Award. Here's Elton using his speech to talk about how much radio played a huge part in his career in the 70s. And he also praised young artists, including Lil Nas X. It's very touching and I'm very humbled because when I first came to Los Angeles in 1970, radio was so important. I'd never heard radio in America before. I've had my time, as they say, in the sun, and I'm still glad people play my records, and I love it. Um, I just want to say a special thanks to Lil Nas X, because... He is a wonderful artist and has of steel. There you go. So praise for Lil Nas X from, from a legend right Very there, 74-year-old uh, Sir Elton John. Um, icons are icons, not just because they're talented, but they do get radio. Mm -hmm. Or back in the day, they got radio. Now you gotta yeah. get streaming. But back then, radio play. every track Elton John ever made, you could, you could stick it on the radio in a second, and you knew it was him immediately. That's also what makes an icon. You gotta be smart. It's not just the talent. Yeah. You gotta be a smart artist. He was always a smart, smart artist. Uh, always. Right, right before, uh, to kind of piggyback on that, you know, someone who's done radio, we both have, uh, but pop radio for a long time. I still have artists that'll reach out to me. They're doing well in streaming, but there's something about hearing your song on your local no radio station no that just takes it to a whole other level. It's and they, they get a million streams, but when they hear it on radio, there's just this excitement to be like, yo, Agreed. I made it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of radio, a ton of radio play for Britney Spears, right? She's, she's crushed radio. Uh, we're going to hear some of her songs on Broadway very soon, though. So this is cool. It's a stage musical in the works. It's called uh, Once Upon a One More Time. Which is once upon a one more time. I so, get it. So you're having Disney princesses. Yes. You know you're gonna have uh, people like mm, the original story about uh, Cinderella, Snow White, Little Mermaid, among others, who are transformed after reading. Yeah, go ahead. Once upon a one more time. Okay. The feminine <laughs> mystique, which is a landmark feminist text, right? So these princesses will then become woke. Princesses. Oh. So this isn't like after a, getting this, this isn't and a then bio? It's a whole new thing. No, no. and then some of the thing. music involved will include Britney Spears, which is going to be cool, I man. It was a bio I like thing. it. No. I thought it was like uh, this just is, a shared uh, show on Broadway. This is going to be cool. I like it. All right. Sid's not sold. I, yeah. th I thought it was like, because her story's super interesting. I although like although she's in the courts, actually. Yeah. Can't, she can't really talk about yeah, it. Yeah, she's not saying much at all. You know what, Devo? You know, maybe I'm in. Framing Britney Spears. Let them just get her music out there and still continue to let Britney be as free as possible when it comes to music. Troll Diddy. Petty Love? What, what's going what do you on prefer? Here? Okay, what's so on? Diddy decides to put out a photo of him and J-Lo, who they dated, of course, from 99 to yeah. 2001. There he goes, as a throwback Thursday picture. All he did was hashtag, hashtag TBT. That was it. Wait, he's throwing his hat in the ring. Is that He's shooting well, a you, shot. You're seeing, like, there's J-Lo and Ben Affleck. Is yes. this petty, though? Is no, it? I love it. I think it's kind of funny. I He's think it's saying, hilarious. You're looking at your exes. Remember like, if, me? And if, I love those two. I yeah. love those two back together. If all the exes want to want to just make their case, I think That's it's right. kind of cute that he did that. I like it. I love it. Yeah, I, I love think it's it. like great, it. That's man. Amazing. Brother love, Sean Combs, whatever you want to call yourself. <laughs> well done yes. on that. Uh, coming up as well, a little bit later on this hour, Emma Stone versus Emma Thompson. The two Emmas are in Cruella. It's such a great film. My conversation coming up with Emma Stone a little bit later on this okay, hour. Okay, very yeah. cool, Dee. Uh, coming up next, how's about an ab workout before oh, we go into a long week? You're in trouble. You're in trouble. On in trouble. International Hamburger Day. Well, I'm going to go find a burger. Good luck with Coach Siggy. Okay, Siggy's. Yeah. all you Bye. need, I'm not kidding you, is the shoes you're wearing and an extra shoe, apparently. So have a third shoe.
Okay, Jennifer Lopez has a third wheel love triangle. We need a third shoe for moving in the morning right after this. The shoe will drop next. Yeah. Breaking shoe. news, I don't have a good core.